Okay, I'm back here for another video uh, on driven clutches for these club cars. This is this is more of a buyer's guide. Um, the first video I did, I kind of you know talked about how the clutches come apart, how to take them apart, uh, that kind of thing. This is more of a you know you've got an old club car and you want a new driven clutch, and you're seeing a lot of uh, different kind of clutches out there, and you're wondering which one you should buy. Um, I do not recommend this style of clutch. This clutch here is, I think this is off of an 86. Um, this is the old style clutch that Club Car used in their Club Cars from 1984 to about 1987. But in my opinion, it's not a very good design. I think Club Car agreed with me because they then redesigned to this style. Uh, this is the style that uh, came out in 1988 and it's the style they used uh, all the way up. I think they might even still use uh, a variation of it today. Um, but one of the problems with this clutch, uh, this clutch was designed to be used with the old bell style clutch that they used up to about 1987. Uh, it's designed for a, a thinner belt uh, I forget what the exact measurement is. I'll, maybe I'll put that in the description. Um, but this clutch is just, I don't know, I'm, just, I'm not a big fan of these. This particular one here, if you can read this, uh, it says here, do not use warped sheaves. I wrote this on here after I tested this clutch because I had this laying in my stash and I thought I'd throw it on my golf cart and see how it worked. Well, it the sheaves are warped. I don't know, you can maybe see while I'm spinning it. When I put the belt on it, I mean, the belt was just going like this and I ended up taking it back off and I just marked it just not to use it. I just thought I'd keep it around for, you know, whatever, just cause I keep parts, but, um, but yeah, I don't recommend this style clutch. I think that the warped sheave problem, I, I'm guessing a lot of these, uh, these older ones had that problem. Club car redesigned the clutch and it has these fins uh, that prote that um, protect it, keep it from warping. And this is the newer style, like I said, from 88 and up. Um, this particular clutch, the only difference, you'll see these clutches, you'll see this particular clutch for sale online um, for like 88 to 96, and then from 97 and up. Um, the only difference between those years, between 88 to 96 and then 97 and up, uh, is the spring inside. Now this particular spring in this particular clutch is an aftermarket spring. Uh, so this is not a stock spring, this is the aftermarket torque spring. that You can get this spring from Cart Parts Plus. Um, but the stock spring that they put in these from 88 to 96 was a, a counterclockwise oriented spring and it was white. It was a white spring. And then in 97, uh, I think they used a green spring, and that was a clockwise spring. I, I covered this in the other video. But you can buy this clutch for any club, any gas club car, even the ones that had this one, even, even the 1984 to 87s that had this one. You can put this clutch on it. It's the same, you know, this is the same mounting uh, exact size. The keyway, it's, everything's the same. It's a, it's a complete, you know, easy... You can upgrade to this very easily. Um, the only thing you'll need to be aware of is if you buy a 97 and up, then you'll need to change out the spring because the, the clockwise spring, um, obviously if you have a, an older cart that runs counterclockwise, which would be 96, uh, 96 and earlier, uh, then you'll need it to be counterclockwise oriented. Um, so that's, uh, you know, that's that. But yeah, I do see these online. I don't know, I'm not... I don't have ironclad confirmation of this, but there's a lot of retailers that are selling this clutch and listing it for newer uh, golf carts, uh, even though this was designed for the old Bell style clutch and not the 1988 and up style clutches. So I don't know, you know, I just, I wouldn't recommend that, this, that you buy this style clutch. I would recommend that you get this style clutch and, uh, and swap a spring out or, you know, find some way that you can use this particular kind of clutch. This is a way better clutch uh, than this. So that's just my recommendation. 
Okay, there's one more thing I wanted to add here, and this is just something that I'm not 100% sure of. Uh, and maybe somebody who's done this uh, can comment uh, in the comments to say whether or not it worked or not. I am not 100% certain if this spring inside this older clutch is compatible to just be swapped into here. I mean, it looks like it has the little hole where the nub goes and it's got the hole here and, and maybe it's compatible, but I can't say for sure if it is or not. Uh, if it is, that's great. That means uh, you guys that have this clutch can order, you know, a 97 plus clutch, which seems to be way more of those out there available uh, for sale and just swap this counterclockwise spring into it. Uh, if that's the case, that's great. It, it'll work. But uh, I'm not 100% sure it will. Because um, I have, for one thing, I haven't been able to get this apart. I did try to get the nut off once. But I don't, I don't know if I have big enough tools. Um, but I did try to split it. And I can split this one. I have a tool that'll split this one. But, uh, but not this one. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, but it's kind of hard. I mean, you see, like I said, these were used from 1988, you know, on, on up to at least 2014. Um, with the only difference being in 1997, they changed this spring. And anybody can change out the spring and put a different spring in there. But uh, it's just something to be aware of. Because it's very, it's difficult to find 1988 to 96 versions of this I mean you'll see them on eBay sometimes but usually they're old and you know sometimes guys want a fortune for them because they know there's not many out there but just know that you can buy a 97 and up and it's the same exact clutch you just have to make sure that you're using the right directional spring now if you're choosing to put the torque spring in from cart uh, cart parts plus or one of those places you can get the torque spring plus a 97 and up clutch, put that in and it'll work in anything because the torque spring, torque spring's not directional. And I did cover that also in another in the other video on driven clutches, uh, if you want to check that out. But uh, yeah, you, if, you're, if you're planning on using the tor torque spring right off the bat, you don't even have to worry about whether or not your stock spring will work or if you have a stock spring that'll go, you know, into it. You don't even have to worry about it. So, uh, but... Uh, Okay, I think I, I think I covered everything. Uh, just add anything in the comments that uh, you think I didn't cover that I might know or be able to help you with. But uh, that's it.